Hello everyone, welcome to Diksha Karnataka YouTube channel and today I am going to discuss a very important topic, the most weighted topic that you are waiting for that is KSET 2026 physics syllabus, right? And if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We are currently doing a lot of content for KSET 2026 preparation including teaching video lecture. So, if you are interested in that then definitely you have to subscribe to our channel and follow our WhatsApp channel. The link of that is given in the description of this video. So, without any delay let us start with the discussion of the syllabus. But before I start with the lecture uh, syllabus discussion I want to discuss some of the general things. Uh, the main point that you have to remember is that PU board marks are important. So, PU board marks are important and 50 percent of your score actually comes from your PU board marks. So, even before appearing for your KSET exam, you can actually score uh, 50 marks in your uh, for, uh, for your KSET exam, right. Next, during KSET exam, you need to answer 60 questions in 60 minutes. So, basically faster you are answering right now, more you practice, better it will be for your KSET exam preparation. Next is questions are from second year, mostly in the year 2025, we have seen 40 questions that are from uh, uh, second year, right? About 40 questions are from second year that we have seen. Next is no negative marking in CET exam, very, very important and good news for all the students. Even if you make one or two mistakes, you will not be penalized for that. So, no, no negative marking, try to answer all questions in your KSET exam and obviously uh, about uh, 60 percent of the paper is easy or let us say 50 percent of the paper is easy and uh, 30 percent is medium. 50 percent of the questions are easy, 30 percent are medium and 20 percent are hard, okay. So, these 20 percent questions even if you skip it, you still have to answer the remaining 80 percent of the question about 48 to 50 questions you have to attempt in your KCT exam. Now, let us look into the question paper trend analysis chapter wise trend analysis for PU 1 chapters. So, first is units and measurement as you can see every year we can see one questions coming from this chapter. Uh, motion in a straight line again one question coming from this chapter throughout the year. Motion in a plane usually one question, but there are some anomalies. For example, in 2021 four questions came, in 2025 two questions came from this chapter. Laws of motion again two questions from this chapter, work energy power one to two question, uh, work energy power uh, one question usually come, but last year two questions came. System of particles always historically two questions are coming from this chapter. Gravitation again one question used to come, but two question came in this chapter last year as well. So, from this trend analysis you can see that some of the chapters P1 chapters weightage is slightly more compared to previous years, right. Now, uh, P2, uh, P1 continue with P1 chapters mechanis, uh, mechanical properties of solids again one question is coming from this chapter throughout mechanical properties of solids again one question is coming from this chapter throughout thermal properties of matter again one one question is coming from this chapter thermodynamics one question kinetic theory one question oscillations one question waves average one question. So, from the P1 chapters mostly average one question comes, but last year uh, few of the chapters there are two more two questions came. So, be prepared for your P1 chapters as well. Next, the most important part of your uh, case journey that is P2 chapters. So, P2 chapters as you can see as soon as we have arrived at P2 chapters, you can see that uh, there are lot of many questions in this chart. So, electric charges and fields 4, 5, 3 all type of questions comes, but average 4 questions you can expect from this chapter. Electrostatic potential and capacitance the number is fluctuating again average 3 questions you can expect from this chapter. Current electricity is the God chapter of KSET, the most important chapter of KSET. You can star mark this, you can uh, bold it, whatever it is. So, you can see that 6 to 7 questions can come from this chapter, it is the most important chapter of your KCET. Moving charges and magnetism 4 to 5, 
four to five question can come from this chapter magnetism and matter easy chapter two questions on an average you can expect from this chapter electromagnetic induction easy chapter smallest chapter of the syllabus again um, uh, not smallest chapter uh, easy chapter one of the small chapter so two question comes from this chapter okay alternating current average chapter average size chapter and average number of question comes from this chapter is three electromagnetic wave the smallest chapter of the uh, entire syllabus and you can expect one chapter one question from this chapter as well now let's move into the second part uh, of your uh, pu2 syllabus where you can expect ray optics and optical instrument four questions are coming from this chapter five question uh, four to five question on an average from this chapter wave optics last year last two years that uh, weightage was slightly low but before that three four three four like three question you can expect from this chapter as well now uh, dual nature of radiation and matter uh, two to three question again you can expect from this chapter atoms and nuclei usually two three two three was combination now atoms and nuclei the weightage is decreased now one and two questions came last year from this chapter semiconductors now the semiconductors from the uh, from the chapter semiconductor you are supposed to expect less number of question because some portions are deleted from this chapter for example logic gates are not part of your cassette syllabus so that's why the number of question were expected to drop and it is actually dropped in this year and this trend might continue so from the chapter semiconductor electronics you can expect two questions this year as well now experiment is a new thing that is added from last year and first year itself three questions came so three questions again you can expect in your upcoming uh, cassette exam as well and also here you have to remember that experiments are nothing new whatever experiments that you are doing in your laboratory that is the most important part you have to remember the formulas you have to remember the equations and how the experiment was approached least count etc so that is very very important for experiment based questions so total number of questions are 60 now let's look into the most important chapters the chapters you cannot miss for your case 2026 exam what are all the chapters electric charges and fields electrostatic potential and capacitance current electricity i already mentioned it is the god chapter of the kct exam right moving charges and magnetism alternating current ray optics and optical instrument wave optics dual nature of radiations and matter uh, electric uh, charges and fields it is uh, i think something repeated over here and experiments experiments are also very very important as you can see three questions are coming that means you cannot ignore this chapter as well now let's see some of the less important chapters and some of the medium important chapters so what are all the medium important chapters magnetism and matter electromagnetic induction atoms nuclei semiconductor electronics motion in a plane laws of motion work power energy system of particles and potential uh, rotational motion also gravitation so these are the chapters from where you can expect up to two questions okay and the previous uh, important chapter means from there you can minimum expect three questions now less important chapter means one question for, uh, per chapter electromagnetic waves physical world is the chapter which is deleted now so no question will come from this chapter anyway and units and measurement motion in a straight line mechanical properties of fluids and solids thermal properties of matter thermodynamics kinetic theory oscillations and waves from these chapters you can expect one question each now let us move into the uh, part of the syllabus what topics are part of the syllabus very very important many times i uh, ask i can see students asking sir is this part of the syllabus sir is it a current syllabus it is covered or not so let us clear that doubt in your mind do not forget the points that i am going to discuss right now what are all these the first thing is that all topics which are covered in ncrt textbook are part of the syllabus so any topic which is part of your latest 2023 onwards textbook if you have that uh, uh, very good if you don't have it you can download a pdf from ncrt website or you can purchase it from any of the leading bookstores it is available but ask them to give me the latest book only 
all topics which are part of the NCRT textbooks are syllabus. Later on before exam the case board will publish the same thing in a form of syllabus, do not worry this is basically the list of topics directly taken from your NCRT textbook. Nothing if something is out of the textbook then that is not part of the syllabus. So, if topics are not covered in the textbook it is not part of the syllabus very very important uh, and you have to remember this point in your head. If the topic is not part of the textbook uh, then it is not going to come in the exam. Yes, if the topic is suppose some topic is covered in first pew, some topic is covered in second pew they can merge it together to make a new question. But if the topic is altogether out of the syllabus, uh, out of the textbook, for example, Doppler effect. Doppler effect used to be part of waves chapter as well as in the wave optics chapter, but those parts are no longer part of the syllabus, so no questions will come from those uh, topics, okay. You have to understand that. Next is while solving PYQs, you will find some out of the syllabus question. Okay, if you are solving uh, chapter wise or uh, uh, year wise previous year questions, you will find some questions which is related to scattering, some uh, topic which is related to Doppler effect, some is related to um, <coughs> for example, uh, logic gates, you do not need to worry about them, those questions will not come. So, if you also color code of registers, that is also one of the uh, major important question which used to come in KCET, but those are no longer part of the syllabus. So, do not worry if you are not able to solve any questions and if you do not find that topic in your NCRT textbook, then definitely that is out of syllabus, right. Next is avoid rumors. They are, uh, be before exams, I have seen students, teachers and some uh, 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 small known people, they will come and say that this is important, this is important, this is part of the syllabus, this is not part of the syllabus, etc. So, do not believe in rumors, okay. Only thing that you have to trust is your NCRT textbook. Only uh, trust that you should show is your NCRT textbook. Some people do not know the syllabus, they will just try to confuse you. Some people who have appeared for KCT exam 3 4 years back that time syllabus was different and they will come and try to guide you that okay this was very important topic uh, from our uh, time but that part is no longer part of the syllabus so don't uh, believe in rumors try to avoid rumors don't spread them uh, also so before uh, spreading anything you have to check it whether this is part of your NCRT textbook or not. So, if it is part of your NCRT textbook, then it is part of your syllabus. If it is not part of your NCRT textbook, it is not part of the syllabus, very, very clear about it, okay. So, with this, uh, I will like to end this uh, discussion and if you have any doubts, any questions, do not forget to mention that in the comment below and obviously, I will, I expect a lot of you will ask, sir, is this part of the syllabus, is this part of the syllabus, do not worry, first check it if it is there in your NCRT textbook. And then if you still have doubt, then you can mention in the comment below. I will try to answer as much as possible of your all queries and doubts. I uh, will be back with new uh, videos very soon. Till then, bye.